This is a high intensity interval training workout. We will do 40 seconds work followed by a 20 second rest. Repeat one combination over and over for 40 seconds. Combination one. One, two, cover block, followed by a rear punch. One, two, block, punch. The last punch can be whatever you want. Right hook, right body hook, right uppercut, right straight. Use what works for you. This is round one out of 10. I'm doing this for 10 rounds. With a different combination each round. Break. During the break, you can do active rest by shadow boxing. Focus on defensive movements, footwork, and try to recover while staying active. Combination number two. One, two, hook, block, hook. One, two, hook, block, hook. Make sure you're punching with explosive power. To get the benefit from this workout, you need to be hitting hard as you can. Really push yourself. Break. Combination number three. One, two, hook, rear hook. One, two, hook, hook. You can vary the height of your hook to your own preferences. I'm throwing a high left hook followed by a body right hook, but that's up to you. You can mix it up however you like. If you want to raise the intensity of this workout, shorten the time you spend resetting after each combo. This will enable you to do more combinations. Break. Combination number four, jab, slip outside, liver shot. Jab, slip, liver shot. Jab, slip. The liver shot is something in between a left body hook and a left body uppercut, slamming into the lower part of your opponent's right rib cage to hit the liver. Break. Combination number five. One, two, slip, rear hand hook. One, two, slip, hook. Again, the hook can be high or low, it's up to you. Usually I actually do this combination with a right uppercut to finish. One, two, slip, right uppercut. But I find uppercuts a little bit tricky to fire on the bag. So I substitute a right hook instead. It's up to you. Break.
Combination six. One, two, duck, straight punch, lead hook. One, two, duck, straight hook. One, two, duck, straight hook. When you duck, draw a U shape with your head to load your hips for the straight. In all of these combinations, make sure you are aware of your hand guarding your face. The hand that's not punching should always be pulled back to your chin or your brow to protect you against counterattacks. Don't drop your hands and pull yourself back to a fighting stance after each combination. Combination seven, two, three, duck, as you hook the body and finish with a lead hook. Two, three, duck, hook, hook. Two, three, duck, hook, hook. Two, three is a straight hand lead hook. Straight hook, duck, hook, hook. I'm drawing a U shape with my head when I duck and throwing a hook to the body as I do it. I find this particularly useful against south poor opponents. Break. Combination number eight, jab, Straight to the body, lead hook. Jab, body hook. The first jab can be a fake, just to get your opponent to lift his hands, giving you access to the straight punch to his body. Break. I missed the break here and kept going. Don't make that same mistake. Combination nine. Jab, overhand, followed by a liver shot. Jab, overhand, liver shot. Again, the jab can be a fake just to set it up. Break. Combination 10. This is the last one. We're just going to burn it out with a 1-2-1-2 one, two, one, two combo. 1-2-1-2. One, 1-2-1-2. Two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Make sure you're using your hips with your punches. Don't just punch with your arms. You won't get the same benefit doing that. Try to hit the bag hard and fast as you can and really burn it out. Should have nothing left at the end of this. You're done. Good job.